Hello, hello to all the amazing YouTube people, the Neomer here with another episode of Card Quest. So here we are with our sharpshooter hunter in the mountains. We took the upwards path, like we like to do, and now we are in front of the Dragon Slayer. This uh, run was really smooth. There was like a couple of uh, questionable fights, and but we prevailed. The start was a bit grindy because, well, we had a crown on our head which were spawning enemies for us, and well, we got rid of it by being lucky enough to pick up an armor here, so no more of that shenanigans. And yeah, we hear some growls out of here, so with some courage, we step forward. So we got a great, uh, great Modir here, the Great Dragon with 100 HP. Like, that's... Uh, that's scary entering dragon slayer the treasure vault's floor is covered in gold and jewels all dug out of the ground and crafted by the dwarves over generations but as you step further into the vault you start noticing large eggs laying among the riches there's no doubt about it these are dragon eggs it seems the dwarves were forced to share their treasure with some well unexpected guests okay uh so yeah, we see hidden enemies. I'll see if I'm gonna regret not regaining one extra stamina per turn, but we'll see. Uh, can't say like I'm overjoyed with this hand, so let's mulligan here. So we got some like young dragons. Dragons have a lot of armor, so yeah. Uh, this is better. It's not ideal, but for the second hand, it's probably all right. Because uh, that means that we're gonna be start drawing into things that should be okay. So let me start off by doing a quick shot on something. Uh, these don't have dodge, right? These have dodge, so I'm not gonna like start on them right away. Oh, we actually want to shot that. Well, it's a good thing I remember all the bonuses I have and actually strategically think about it. Not. Anyway, let's do that. Um, and let's do that, I guess. Okay. Mm, yeah, that's good. Prepare sh shot, royal thing, and then... Uh, let me see. Ignores all armor. So, these, these should do how much damage? 14. Plus in vulnerability, that's 16. 16 damage. Ignoring armor, maybe 18 because of these two. Uh, also, let's discard a card here. No, it's 16, so these are already accounted for. Okay. Um, let's do inner strength. Uh, I'm in a little bit of predicament here now, though. I don't want this to drag for too much, so I'm just gonna like shoot, shoot, and uh, shoot, and shoot. And then when I'm done shooting, I guess I'm just gonna shoot a bit more. I'm just gonna dodge here, actually. Fire breath. Okay. Okay, dude, have it your way. I really like... I could have killed it with that, by the way. Just saying, I noticed it eventually. I'm just not a person who focuses hard on... Uh, like, killing... I'm like more like okay let's stabilize and then next turn we're gonna kill it and I do that a lot I know you would like me to notice the lethal but okay now I got a proper dragon here a lot of HP it doesn't fly though so does it have like uh, does it have the dodge it does okay this hand um, hmm. well I have one defense only one defense so passing on a hand with only one defense doesn't have anything else though like like nothing i really want or need that's what i want or need that's good so let's see nine that nine is not enough so let's see uh how we're gonna play this out let me chain break here oh chain breaking with draw is like so expensive though okay what about now can we kill it? No. Uh, well, now I can do inner strength. That's a bit painful, actually. Can't even kill that one. You're gonna like damage here, aren't we? 
Uh, well, that's good. Oh, wait. Oh, that's stunned because I had Royal Arrow, of course. Of course, dragons can be stunned. That's their biggest weakness. Uh, right, 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 right. Uh, still don't need arrows. It's kind of a weird situation. Should have I taken that? I mean, it's nice, I guess. Um, so does that, does that mean we just drop that thing? Plant escape. Let's drop plant escape. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Oh my, oh my. Well, we could go for eggs, I guess. If I don't have anything smarter to do. You know what? Let's go for that. So all of a sudden, these will become super expensive, I guess. Well, actually not. As long as I chain them, that's go they're going to be cheapish. Um. Another plant escape down the drain. Yeah, sure, why not? I should be very careful here, though. Because I drew, like, into a lot of really good cards very fast again. And it's gonna be a while since until I see these again, so... I have to be careful here. Okay, let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna waste one stamina if I click Inner Strict, but I think I'm fine with that. Okay, this does 12 damage. Ooh, would be really good to do a royal arrow here. Okay, let's do a prepared shot into a royal arrow. And I'm gonna stun the, the big dragon here. Good, and now I can finish it off. And I think I only drew one card of that ability because I'm not so smart. Going still pretty good. Oh, well, it's a hard area. Like, I'm like, this is the first fight. No, it's not, right? I already forgot this this fight is going on for so long that I already forgot which one is it. Mm. I'm just gonna end the turn here and let them do their thing. Mm, that's not bad though. Um, that's good. That's good. So 14, yeah, sure, why not? Ah, uh, did I use the Royal Arrow? I think I did, okay. There. And let's just end the turn here. Let it hatch, and now we're gonna kill it. Hello there. Like I already said to your harpy friends, it's a cruel world, you would not like it anyway. Enjoy the afterlife, I guess. That was the second fight, okay. The, the dragon fights are hard. It's like, it's really gonna ramp up, especially where we're gonna have extra enemies. Well, not yet, but they will be. Okay, well, these two are not like so significant, but three young dragons, already pretty scary. This is okay hand though. Uh, let me see here. Let's start easy here. Using like some stamina. Mm. So I can do a draw without being too sad about wasting some of it. Still wasted some, but not a lot. Uh, that's actually a really easy fight. Okay. Unless there are some surprises, sometimes they are. Okay, ooh, Royal Arrow. Um, okay, I'm gonna do that now. That's really good, Royal Arrow. So now that's gonna stun it, so it's not gonna have dodge, which is good for us. Oof, amazing, amazing. Okay, now, let's see here. I can do like a shot. Oh, it has dodge, but I just removed dodge. I was thinking to do a prepared shot or some kind of combination of something, but... 9 damage. Uh, yeah, I can do like a prepared shot and now it does 17. Uh, booyah, bye bye. Good. Three dragons! Well, now the, G the jig is up. Any hidden enemies? 
Okay, I know one of these fights will have like some hidden dragons, and that's insane. Hidden dragons, insane. Also, the fact they start unaware is just broken. If that's the sharpshooter thing, I'm gonna really miss it. I almost clicked end turn. Let's mulligan here. Okay, uh, let's do Royal Arrow then. Drop a defense card. Uh, And let's start working on these, shall we? Uh, five damage, that's just a little bit, though. I have nothing smarter to do, so let's go for it, I guess. Prepared shot. Serrated arrow, how much is it now? 12? Well, I'm gonna get there eventually. Okay, well, one dragon down, two more to go. Now I can finally use that, so that's good. Oof, should have done the royal arrow. Did not notice it in time. Uh, gonna do that just to chain break here. Okay, do Royal Arrow again. So we stun with that shot. Let's drop that. So we draw more. There we go. This deck, pretty strong. Pretty strong. I feel stronger than with the wizard. Uh, let's do that because it's cheap and it draws a card. That one though. Okay. Hmm. 14. Um, 10. Let's do this one. Okay. Well, inner strength. A serrated arrow. Let's get some more resources here. Royal Arrow, that's good. That makes me want to do this, so that's gonna be nice. Now, prepare shot. Yes, serrated arrow. And then this does like what? 12? That's good enough. And yeah, we're basically done here. Uh, I have a perk which should let me see hidden enemies. So if there are hidden enemies, that's gonna be a huge slap in the face from the game. But just in case. There you go. Well, now we just have to wait for these uh, puppies to like hatch. Well, I can like, uh, I can speed up the the proceedings. Uh, let's do a prepare shot and just get it out of here. So shot can be pretty good if you're not chaining it. And now I don't have to chain it, so I just like speed things up. Level up. Uh, so good eye attack shots guys plus one okay plus three max hp or increases max by one well of course i'm gonna take the good eye that's just really nice okay nice and level 10 i don't know if i was level 10 before when i fought the lich i have a feeling there will be hidden enemies here oof they are huge advantage of hidden enemies i believe when I see them at the start, they start in the distant. Otherwise, I think they come straight into my face, right? I think so. I have a royal arrow and some draw, so I think I'm fine playing with this hand. They do. Ha they are aware, though. That's interesting. So probably the safest play here is like, well, let's stun one of the young dragons, right? I mean, this this will miss, so there's no point in doing that. Six damage, well, that's gonna be eight, actually, so that's gonna be good. Any more enemies? It seems like there are none, so that's good news for us. Uh, gonna hard draw here. Ten. Ten, ten, ten. I can finish off that one, I guess. I can also recover here. There we go. That was not good. <laughs> <laughs> that was not good. I was not thinking straight there. Okay, well, let's uh, do that then, I guess. Do I need the plant escape here? Hmm. I can just hard cast that. Barely not enough, though. That's a bit annoying. Um... Just kill one of the small ones then, I don't know. 
that was totally not worth it, but okay. Okay. Can live with it. Um, okay. Uh, let's see here. No arrows. No arrows. I should be careful here with my stamina. And then I cast something that's super cheap if cast chained instead. I'm dropping a ball a little bit here. I mean, I'll still be fine, but... Uh, so maybe prepared shot, serrated arrow. Okay, inner strength is really good. 14 damage, 18 damage. I can just kill that one. That's not bad. And now this one kills the small one. And draws a card. Uh, yeah, let's recover some arrows now. I think it's time. Recover a little bit of stamina. And now I can like... Rethink my strategy here. Um... Uh, well, I can kill another small one really cheap here, so let's do it. And then, will I have enough to dodge the thing? And no, I'm not. I can stun it, though. So if I do prepared shot, and then royal auto, and then shot, I can stun the dragon. There we go so proud of that move can't even begin to tell you how much there oops that was a mistake never mind okay okay let's see here uh, i'm gonna play the concentration first to regain some resources i'll do a royal arrow i'll do I can do the same thing again, like prepare shot and just shoot this one out of the skies. This one's unaware still, so... Why is that one unaware? That's a bit weird, isn't it? Hmm. How much is that? Six, okay. Alright, two more fights and we are done. Uh, hmm... So this is the tricky fight, right? Where there are like a lot of hidden enemies, but you don't see them because there are a lot of crap here. This is like the totally amazing hand to mulligan though. Yep, the game didn't tell me I see no enemies, so there will be definitely be some. Okay, let's do a uh, auto into a shot here. Okay, into another shot. That's not gonna be enough though, look at that. Um, I mean, I can do two, I guess. It's just one of those days, I guess. And now, yep, revealed. Mm. So I want to stun that one. And then I'm going to get a free turn while I wait for these to hatch. That's not a bad plan. I'll need some way to like... Uh, so he's gonna dodge that, so it's like... Eesh. I think I'm not gonna use plant escape just yet. This will be like a long turn here for me. I'm just gonna drop his dodge that way. Okay, there we go, royal auto. That was bad, never mind. Followed by a stun. So if I finish the thing, the new one will show up. Maybe that's okay, actually. I mean, the threats are here, so... I'm gonna start try to take care of these basically that's the plan here I'm uh, gonna need more arrows though okay uh, 
so usually I went like full in for these and then I had like a whole bunch of these to kill and by the time I was doing done killing them I had like three dragons on my neck and well it was not fun gonna tell you as much anyhow let's do a serrated arrow here a prepared shot another serrated arrow um, so now we go through his thing how much damage is that 16 Mm, what if I do that? How much is now? 17. That's enough. And there's another one. <laughs> but I think that's the last one. And that's actually a dragon. Those were young dragons. Well, I'm happy with how this is going. Uh, I would like to chain that one. If I can. Let me just end the turn here. I mean, I'm gonna lose a lot of damage because I'm gonna lose all these bonuses, but uh, I just don't wanna push it here. I mean, I have like another free turn after this one, so. Uh, let's do the arrow here. Hmm. This one's pretty cheap. Now let's use that to remove the dodge. Not ideally what I want to do, but... Hmm. I think I need to draw with that. 12. Yeah, I'm gonna run out of... stuff. <laughs> How do we want to play this out? I can, I can mountaineers coat it. So let's do that. Well, hello there, <laughs> whole army. But they are pretty distant, aren't they? Yeah, but finally I'll draw something useful. Okay, that's really good as well. Um, is that the last one though? I'm not sure. I can do a lot of drawing here now if I want to, and I'm really good on stamina, so maybe just like... Let's just kill one of these so we see what's up. Yep, okay, so this is the last one, okay. That makes things a little bit less complicated. Uh, let me get some arrows here. Okay, uh, serrated arrow. Oh, there's the royal arrow. Okay, this is how we're gonna do this. Oh, do I have the preparation up? I don't, do I? Uh, I need prepared shot as well. Well, I can do a quick shot. And now I can do like... I'm not gonna draw a card, but do I really care? Don't. As long as I stun it, that's gonna be good. Okay. Um see that how much damage six I can say I'm super happy about that uh, let's draw some more cards here well there's the prepare shot I could save that for the next turn I guess uh, serrated arrow nine damage yeah, let's kill the small ones the big one is stunned so if you can kill the small ones we'll be like doing pretty well right Kind of. Let's the plant escape. Four damage. That's actually not enough. Um, it's a bit awkward that the dragon is on the right side. That's a bit awkward as well. 
Yeah, I think I just need to end the turn here. Get some stamina back. Let's see what we drew into. Actually, that one is a free one. Okay, and then we see what we drew into. That's okay. Mm. Well, that's a prepared shot, right? So it goes through to the dragon. Serrated arrow, serrated arrow. That one's cheap. Okay, that's good. Once this thing is down, it's gonna be a lot easier. It's not getting any easier though. These have fury, but they are far away. Uh, let me draw some cards here. Will they attack? They shouldn't attack, right? Even though they have fury, they are distant. So they can't like leap and attack twice. They have to get close first. But let's uh, let's not like risk it too much here. I think this is the safest way to go about it. There we go. Uh, Royal Arrow. Okay, bam, bam, let's get some cards. So I need, I need a prepared shot now, basically. I didn't get it, but... Mm, that's 12. Yeah, I have to go that way. Okay, okay. Uh, do that. We're so much weaker after we lose our like first turn bonuses. Uh, seven. I still did not remove the dodge. Come on, prepared. Nope. Not this time. How about now? There we go. Prepared shot and bam. Okay. Now I just need to clean this up. Uh, Whoops, that was not good. It's okay though, They're far away. Nice. Shot. Um, you know what, I'm just gonna end the turn here. Okay, well that's good. That's good. Bam. Bam, even the small ones are like pretty strong actually. Pretty strong that one armor now the biggest thing is like <laughs> we lose all our teeth once the first uh, turn is done so i don't know maybe i should have played it differently and it would not be such a pain but uh, we didn't get damaged so that's a huge deal and we only used one cloak here so in before the great modir okay so this one is like very tactical fight and here i'm gonna be really sorry i don't have one stamina generation per turn Uh, I'm not sure how I want to do this actually. Like, do I want to like go full out on him? Close to young dragons at 75, two dragons at 50 and two more dragons on 25. So if I kill him on the first turn, I'm gonna need to deal with like six dragons. I'm not really sure that's doable. So we're gonna have to play it slow here and slow it's not we're not good at being slow <laughs> like we are like super strong at the start but then we start falling off um so is this a hand to be played though it kind of is but i don't know it is and it isn't <laughs> If that makes any sense. Does it have dodge? No, it doesn't have dodge. So thanks for that. Um, Yeah, I don't want to play this hand, to be honest. Yeah, I would run into some very big difficulties with these, I think. So I'm like now another mulligan, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> the game starts here. <laughs> ok, 
Okay, uh, shot for 11. Well, I might be able to bring like two young dragons out and kill them. I think. Or should I just go for this X? I don't know. I'm gonna let the X hatch, maybe. Let's see. Okay, that's good. Serrated arrow. Yeah, I think I need to go for him. Like, at least once. Okay. Because this extra damage negates enemy armor without it, uh, I'm just not so good. Okay, let's do prepare shot here and then royal arrow. And then I can like do that. So here, the, here we'll definitely go for young dragons. I don't want so many enemies at once on the screen, right? Uh, so that's 18 and I have the prepare shot. So that's gonna kill one of them. And then, well, maybe I can just remove the, the thing with a quick shot. Get things running again. That's really good. Uh, it's not going to draw cards, though, so I'm, like, reluctant. Uh, that's good. That's really good, actually. 15. Not as much as I need, but it's still pretty good. Let's do that. Okay. I can do serrated arrow now. And now I can kill the thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's do it. And now I'm like, I can cycle. I don't know if I want to push it to 50, but I could. This chip one's for sure. Okay, that's really nice. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, so now it's 10 damage. Um... Well, I, my stamina is still good. I just used recently the the thing though, so I'm like, oof. let's do this. It's still not gonna push it though, so I have a little bit time to think here. I can go for X. Let's do a prepare shot. 11 damage. Okay, so if I push the thing now, do I have enough to deal with two dragons? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I think the smart here is to go for the X. Oh, that's good though. Let's go for the X. Uh, <laughs> Well, a bit awkward situation, not gonna lie. Do we just use this without cycling? Yes, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> That's not too bad. But, like, we got him only to half, and now we're gonna lose our all bonuses, and it will really slow down a lot. I think I want to do the distracting shot here, probably. Save my stamina as much as possible. Okay, clean that one up. Get my arrow count up. Okay, good. Do that. Another distracting shot here would be good. Well, this is also pretty nice. Royal Arrow. Hmm. Okay, let my 
end the turn here. Dodge with that. Okay, now well, that's good. So let's use it. Auto, good. So now this does 13 damage. Um, push him once more. I could. If I push him now, he's gonna summon two dragons. I mean, I have some resources to fight them. I have 12 stamina. I'll be able to do a prepared shot and try to kill one of them like real fast. Uh, I do have royal arrow though. Uh, let's do that. So the boss or the dragon link? Problem is, once I kill the dragon link, I'm gonna not have anything else to shoot at the like cycle. So yeah, let's go for the boss here. So he retreated, he's distant 5 now. <laughs> okay, um, so there are a couple of ways I can go about this. I can do prepared shot into the dragon. Which does cost quite a bit. You know what, let's draw some cards here. Then we're gonna decide. Okay, that's also pretty good to make that uh, shot even stronger. 11 damage. Oh, that's a start. I definitely want to kill at least one dragon here. Too bad I didn't have Royal Arrow though. Uh, let's just remove that thing, I guess. Uh, well, that's not too bad. I mean, I have some ways to gain some stamina. I'll probably have to do it now because... I have two of these, though. These are able to stun two dragons for two turns, which is pretty good. Uh, not sure what I want to do now, though. <laughs> it's a bit of a tricky situation um, I mean I can stun one of them now maybe hmm. and this this is so expensive for just one damage that's really good though and that's nice so now I can stun it Gonna need some arrows, that's for sure. Okay, that's another royal arrow. Oh, nice. Uh, even some more cards. And that. Okay, 11 damage. Okay, I can almost kill that one. Let me use the whiskey here. I mean... The time has come to start using my resources. Imagine that. I have a lot of damage here as well. Once inevitable, something gets really close to me. So that brings another question in. Sure, should I st stop using the plant escape? So... They get close. This doesn't say it's anything about melee though, so I can probably do it. Oh, that's 15 damage now that we broke the thing. Mm. I can also go for the boss here. That's an interesting idea. But then we're going to have even more dragons to deal with. Which is probably not the wisest choice. Um. Hmm... Just kill one of these, like be done with it. Oh, that's nice. Okay, well, the game keeps on giving. 
Uh, hmm. Uh, need to ch need a break here. I mean, that's really cheap. It does cost arrows though, so I should keep that in mind. Need uh, myself a royal arrow. Um, four damage. What about that? Does that break? I think it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's the play here. I need more armor breaks. Uh, I need more chain breaks, basically. I think I'm gonna play, play hideout here anyway. So this one will never come into play, I guess. But I can always take this one out if that happens. Now this one is only distant one. So if I don't play the plant escape, but then how do I block the, the boss? I can dodge with the bear trap, I guess. Let this one come close, burn it down with that. Hmm. No, but this is just one stamina. Let's see what we draw here. Prepare shot. Interesting. Interesting indeed. That's really good. I like that. We'll need more arrows. Good. Uh, seven. So now I can distracting shot as well. I still think plant escape is probably better. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's the end of that turn. Uh, there you go. So now I can use that. 12 damage. Do I need it though? That's a good question. Let's see. Maybe I don't. Um, a little bit bad on stamina though, so I probably do. There you go. That did not break the chain either. Yeah, I think here I just end the turn and do the planned escape. You know, get some nice armor to play with. Okay, that's good. Uh, so that one. I can do a prepared shot here. How distant are you? Five. Well, that's not super distant. Twelve. Oh, another plant escape. Um, you know what? Let's push it a bit more. I can distracting shot. That's gonna be really good. Yeah, each time I can do a distracting shot, that's amazing. Actually, like we just gain a whole bunch of stamina that way. Yeah, that's nice. That's the play. I should just distracting shot all the time. Uh, there we go. There we go. Do that. Okay, there's another distracting shot. So that's gonna be nice. Uh, yeah, that's good. It's gonna get nice and close to us. And then we're gonna show who's the fire breather here. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. <laughs> that thing um i'll definitely have to do something about that uh, let me draw some arrows here okay okay i got another distracting shot 
so that's definitely the play. I can also push it. Now let's get the arrows to 10 first, right? That sounds like a plan, right? Yeah, let's get ours to 10 and then we're gonna push it. I mean, we can distracting shot for ages here, so... There's really no rush, I think. There's really no rush. Just play it nice and slow. Nice and slow. Mm -hmm. Royal arrow. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Let's do preparation shot. Nice. Another serrated arrow. Okay, we have three arrows up though, so we can't stack them any further. So if I bop him here, if I bop him here, um, I don't want to do it though yet. Let's get to a little bit more arrows. Do that, do that, do that. Okay, another distracting shot, that's good. Okay. Yeah, I think this is nice and tactical the way we are doing it here. Okay. So this does a lot of damage already. So what I can do here, I can push him with my uh, fire decoction. And now he's gonna call some dragons. And now we can go for the dragons. Uh... Repairing shot is ready, so this will do a lot of damage to them. I have Royal Arrow as well. Okay, so everything's like lined up nicely here to kill one of them real fast. Okay. How do we want to do this? Well, I don't want to use this once again because we're going to get... Uh, drunk and everything's gonna be super expensive all of a sudden I could have actually went for the boss I'm so silly like <laughs> but okay uh, let's go that's only for damage though hmm. what's the play here okay <laughs> that's just to break the chain by the way <laughs> Uh, I should maybe just draw here, I don't know. So if I kill a boss, how dangerous are these two? Oh, no, they're not really dangerous. So I need like five of these attacks. Like something like that. Now there's the preparation shot. Okay, now I can do the strength as well. Quick shot, eight damage. Yep. I mean, at this pace... I can kill it. Okay, now that's 8 more damage. I also have a counter shot. I'm gonna draw a card of that one. What's more important for me here? Well, I do wanna draw a card. It's gonna do less damage though. That's something to consider. Let's get some arrows here and some more cards. A serrated arrow is good. Now it does 7 damage. Mm. I can break a chain again with a healing potion, I guess, and just kill it. There we go. Well, the great Modir dies. Now we just have to take care of these two uh, annoyances. Uh, shouldn't be too hard. Fire rats. Oh no. What am I going to do? Funny how he moves towards us even though it's like the game says it's stunned. Okay. So on this one is stunned for two turns, so I have some time to like take him down. 
but not a lot not a lot that's pretty weak I'll now's the chance to use that if I'm ever going to use it but I don't think I will I'm just gonna end the turn here actually um let's see what I want to do here plant escape but that draws me two cards just distracting shot drop that and do a distracting shot I could Okay, well that's good. Let's do the royal arrow first in case I draw another arrow. Okay, that's seven damage. Oh, wait, what? Can dodge when distant. Oh, hello there. Hello, hello. That's gonna be good. And well, I don't have a lot of damage here, but <laughs> let's see what we can do. <laughs> Eight. Oh, both are stunned now. Okay, well this is pretty much over then. Well, that one's dead actually, so. Uh, yeah, just gonna end the turn here. I mean, he's gonna unstun, but it's not like. Um, <laughs> 12. Yeah, sure. 12. There you go. Done. Okay, well. <laughs> Okay, I guess we had to throw up to finish it off, but I shown who's the fire breather here. It's not the dragon, it's me. Living Dragon Slayer, as you sit on top of a pile of gold resting, a group of dwarves comes up to you. They're carrying the prince on a golden chair. Thank you for all you've done, my friend. Not only did you help me support my rightful claim to the throne, but you've also defeated the beast that had taken my ancestor's treasure. The dwarven folk are eternally grateful to you. You can pick anything you want from these riches, you sure earned it. You pick your reward and leave for your next adventure with the dwarves cheering for you on your way out. Yay for us! Um, well, I really like the Runecrafter's mask. <laughs> an ancient golden mask that is said to have belonged to a legendary dwarven craftsman. Using it opens a special shop where you can exchange gold for every special runes with unique powers. Uh, I find these runes quite, runes quite OP to be honest. Then we got the Dragon Whistle, we can start from anywhere. You can also use it to deal 8 damage to 3 random enemies, kind of cool. And Bag of Riches. A big bag full of riches from the Mountain Treasure decreases stamina by 6 but makes you start with 200 gold coins. Additionally, it can be used to, great, to get coins with each use. Well, maybe if I had both the Bag of Riches and Run Crafter's Mask, but then I'd have to take this one first, right? Yeah. This is painful though, reduces it by 6, Oof. okay, anyhow, let's take this one because we know it's really good. And yeah, you're done here. Congratulations, you have slain the dragon and claimed the mountain's treasures. You victoriously fought your way through the mountain's foot, mountain's pass, goblin village, harpiness, mountain peak and dragon's lair. You have slain 271 foes on your way. So this is pretty successful, I uh, really like the sharpshooting school. Even though the strongest I am on the first turn, I was still strong enough to like uh, easily like avoid the dragon and farm up the stamina and deal with his buddies. And well, these two are pretty good. So if you can save them up for the last fight, this one I didn't use a lot, but it did its job to remove that nasty nasty crown from my head if i had the crown in the final fight i would lose for sure because i just had no resources to deal with rats all the time but anyhow that's gonna be it for this episode we were victorious on our first try in the mountains with the ranger class well the, the hunter class sorry and well with the sharpshooter school and it was pretty cool like it and then next time i'll probably go for the final one the forest, the enchanted forest or whatever it's called. So if you're enjoying this, some likes and subscriptions would be amazing. And in the meantime, I wish you all to have a wonderful day, do something nice. And uh, thank you all for watching and see you in the next episode. Neomer signing out. Bye bye.